I didn't know if I was going to get to finish that or not. What about all that rain? But it actually uh, slowed down and quit long enough for me to come back out and finish this up. Hope you guys are enjoying this build. I, it's not done yet. You know, I've still got a door to make. I got the fascia to put on the front and the back. Got to strip it for the metal. Then I got to put the metal on it even before I can think about starting to use it. But um, it's been pretty fun. Guys, I've got some bonus footage for you uh, where my neighbor and I actually affixed the handle to that new crosscut saw that I've got. And we actually had to make a tool, machine a tool for it. And then got footage of him fastening it down to that. I'll tell you what, it really came out nice. So I'm fixing to show that to you. But we appreciate you watching, guys. Thanks for stopping by. All right, folks. I'm up here at my good friend and neighbor's... Wait a minute, I can say that, right? I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> He's a mess, isn't he? Um, I called him and told him that I actually had that crosscut saw handle made for that. But it, you know, if we put like a nut and a bolt and I tried to countersink it, there's just not enough material there because it's only an inch wide and I had to cut the middle for that um, blade to go up in there. So he came up with the idea about taking and cutting some bolts, quarter inch bolts, as long as it was soft steel. And then when we would brad or peen the heads over and actually make our own brads. So this is what he's going to work on. Okay guys, the finished product is right here. So, once again, he bailed my bacon fat out of the fire. <laughs> it's getting to be too big of a habit. <laughs> this was a really cool idea. I never thought about that because I actually called him and asked him if he had any rivets. He said no. So then he came up with the idea about using some soft bolts cutting them and just rounding the heads off in there and I think it worked out really good. Anyway, we'll know first time I use it, won't we? Yeah. Well, I actually tried out my new saw and the handle is really tight. It works good. Uh, the next thing to do is to sharpen it up and then we talked about fashioning a handle for that far end there that is actually removable which can be put back here as well depending on whether you've got another person with you or you're by yourself. So that will be the next project on the crosscut saw. But yeah, it really works good so I'm 
assuming that once we sharpen it that it will do a much better job.